The BBC required to change uh, the lighting across a number of the buildings, including New Broadcasting House and Glasgow, to first and foremost save energy. And Kasambi was chosen with Vila to provide both the lighting and the lighting control system. Kasambi technology was chosen for a number of reasons. First of all, Kasambi technology is not reliant on any particular lighting manufacturer. We are in some ways lighting agnostic. The client could choose any light fitting from any manufacturer. In the case of the project, they chose Vila and the collaboration that Kasambi have with Vila enabled us to provide the right solutions within the light fittings to enable the control of the luminaires through the Kasambi technology. The collaboration with Vila was very important in regards to dimming technology, through dimming curves, through the tunable white functionality that was provided. So the luminaires installed were part of the Vila range called Cluster, a mixture of 1200 by 300 and 1500 by 300 backlit LED luminaires with a microcosmetic controller for good glare. The Kasambi elements were integrated into the gearboxes on the back of the luminaire with the aerial exposed as well as sensors in the positions that were previously used and switches where required. Holder's technology provided the hardware for the ecosystem to Vila Lighting and then supported with commissioning and project management. For all of the BBC sites we took the same approach regards commissioning, which was two phases. The first stage being carried out by the installers and the second by our own commissioning team. The phased install was carried out on a nightly basis. So after the lights were installed, the installers would then pair all the luminaires into a network for security. We would then go back at a later stage and complete the commissioning, whereby we'd program the sensors and the luminaires as per the specification. Power wiring infrastructure changes were not required as Kasambi technology only requires mains power and no daily wiring, no ethernet and no traditional switch installation. This meant the installation actually had minimal impact on the users that were in the space. There was no need to make any structural changes to the building to add additional cabling as the Kasambi ecosystem just works off alive and neutral. Kasambi technology is very much suited to large installations and large buildings because it's not restricted by any architecture in buildings. So when it comes to introducing different solutions, when it comes to lighting or control devices or sensors, it's very simple and straightforward. The original commissioning was carried out on the sensors, the luminaires and the switches. We were asked to take advantage of daylight harvesting, also allow for tunable white within particular levels, and set the switches for meetings. For every single BBC site, this was important because this was a retrofit project. The project overall exceeds more than 10,000 nodes across all the buildings. The system that the client has embraced will make it simple and easy to introduce more light fixtures and more solutions as the projects evolve and develop. The Kasambi mesh technology also enabled communication across different areas, different zones, different rooms, which meant that the communication wasn't limited and the functionality wasn't limited also. Any user anywhere could control luminaires from switches or sensors. From a functionality point of view, everything was controlled and managed through the app. One of the requests from the BBC was to actually take advantage of tunable white. On some of the levels, they have to use a particular CCT for filming. And by using the Kasambi ecosystem and the luminaires from Vila, it was very simple for them to press a button and create the exact colour temperature they required. The BBC can actually make changes to the lighting on their own now that the system is commissioned. This may mean that they want to change some of the switch functionalities or change the groupings within the luminaires. Irrespective of the BBC site that the changes need to be made at, you do not need to be present at the site to make the changes. As long as somebody has the iPad and enables the gateway function within the app, the changes could be made remotely anywhere in the world using the credentials. 
This is a great function and enables the BBC to actually look at each of their sites irrespective of their locality. The beauty of the Kasambi system is they actually have a rollback function, which means any changes that are made and are not approved, they can actually be taken back to the original commissioning state. One of the biggest advantages to the BBC of using the Kasambi system is its levels of security. It is an end-to-end -end encrypted closed mesh network. Kasambi technology, we believe, is the best solution for the BBC because the BBC in future will get support from Kasambi through free over-the-air updates and also support locally from our partner in the UK Holders Technology or in addition can also be supported by Kasambi from Helsinki. The project went really well and is still ongoing. The collaboration between Vila, Kasambi and Holders has been excellent and also with the additional partners and installers that we've worked with at a local level at each site. The feedback from the BBC has been very positive. It's been a very, very enjoyable project to be part of. Kasambi is so easy to commission. I've been in controls all my life and I've never seen a system so simple.